that he changed the language in his draft statement when referring to Hillary Clinton and her email case. So in an early draft of his statement, he writes this. There is evidence to support a conclusion that Secretary Clinton and others used the email server in a manner that was grossly negligent with respect to handling of classified information. Then later he changes the, the wording. He changes gross negligence to, quote, extremely careless. Now the Senate Judiciary Committee is demanding that the FBI identify the person who made those changes and why. What do you make of all of them? <laughs> really funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> it's, it's funny, you know. You're, you're, it's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean the way I talk? What? It's just, you know, you, it's, you're just funny. It's, you know, the way you tell the story and everything. What I'm saying is that the director of national intelligence in March did directly lie to Congress, which is against the law. He said that they were not collecting any data on American citizens. You're talking about James and it, Clapper. And it, tur and it turns out they're collecting billions of data on phone calls every day. So it was a lie. What I'm saying is that by lying to Congress, which is against the law, he severely damaged the credibility of the entire Intelligence Committee. Frankie, was he shaking? <laughs> You sometimes, Henry. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> John Brennan was confirmed to be the next head of the CIA. Reignited debate, of course, about the use of drones. Three months after 42 civilians died, John Brennan stood up and said, There hasn't been a single collateral death. Based on what Director Brennan has informed us, I have grave concerns that the CIA's search may well have violated Executive Order 12333, which prohibits the CIA from conducting domestic searches or surveillance. You're a funny guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, Henry. That's it, Henry. Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> hey, you want to lift? The New York Times exposing just how far the spying went. During the summer of 2016, the FBI sent an undercover female investigator to meet then-Trump aide George Papadopoulos at a London bar. She reportedly then asked him if the Trump campaign was working with Russia. And Papadopoulos says the young informant even tried to seduce him.